Hey guys, this is Red Power V 1962, and today we'll be taking a look at the, I bl at the Leonardo action figure from the Batman vs TMNT toy line. Uh, this is only exclusive by GameStop. I got it for my Christmas present, as you can tell by the date. And yeah, yeah. Let's just get down to the figure. The sculpting of the figure is pretty dang cool. I mean, it practically looks like it actually came from the animated show, thanks to the painting as well. That's what I... So, yeah, I... Oops. I loved it because of that. Also, as you can tell, there are some lines, just so that way... It, it kind of looks like it does come from the animated movie, so yeah, I love, I love it for that reason as well. Now moving on to the accessories. For accessories, you get these katanas and the scabbards. Be careful, not be careful with the swords. They are very fragile, by the way. I cannot. I can remove them, but I also have to be careful with them because one wrong move and then they'll break. I learned that because, uh, well, I wa well, I watched a YouTube video. Let's just say that. Anyway, oops, oh, oops, not again. For extra hand piece, you get the chopping hand, the grabbing hand. Oh, and also you get this pizza as well. For articulations, you can spin the head 360. I won't do it. It's hard to do it when you're holding the camera and also doing it with your hand at the same time. Sorry. Holders move arm bows up and down. Oops. Uh, elbow bend. And hit. And go. So 360 and also I believe up and down and and for the and there's no I believe there's no waist movement also so for the legs you get a bend at the knee I believe if I could it looks like it could bend there, there we go I can it kind of bend but uh, thanks to the, this knee pad, I can't be able to really bend it all that well. The uh, the uh, foot goes up and up and down. Uh, goes, I believe, three sixty. Um, and yeah, I believe that's. And also, it can go. It can kick this high and kick back this far. And finally, you get a pretty good spread. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call this an articulation, really, but you can actually bend the, like, the, uh, headband all the way around, but uh, I wouldn't call that an articulation. But, and also, there's a peg at the, uh, to connect the scabbard to the belt. I'm not gonna remove it because it was really hard for me to actually connect the scabbard to the belt by the way, so, yeah, I'm not going to do that, which is also why I did not, which is why I'm also not going to let Leonardo hold the sword, because it'd be pretty hard to hold, to make him hold the sword, and pretty long, and it probably would take freaking, like, 10 minutes to actually even get him to hold one freaking sword without having to break the sword, so, yeah. I'm not going to let Leonardo hold the sword, so if you're wondering if I'm going to make him do a holding the sword, 
Am I gonna make him hold the katanas? I can't. Sorry. Now it's time for some size comparison. Here's Leonardo next to the Marvel Slight Spider-Man figure. I'd say it's a pretty inaccurate size comparison. Because I feel like Spider-Man should be a little bit less... Less, uh... Should be a little bit taller, not... Like, he's taller than Leonardo, but at least be... He, uh, where they can... But at least at... Uh, this level, right? Like, right here. So, yeah, it's pretty inaccurate in my opinion. It may be accurate to some people, but to me, it's just inaccurate. Here he is next to the Lightning Collection's White Ranger. I'd say it's much more accurate than the Spider-Man one, so that's a point right there. So, alright, moving on. And also, here he is next to a future figure that I'm going to review, the... Batman figure from the same toy line and also the same box that he came in with the Leonardo figure. So, yeah. I'm going to be reviewing Batman later on. As for the size comparison, I'd say it's pretty accurate, actually. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid figure. Sh sure, it does have a little bit of its mishaps, like how freaking difficult it would be to put the sword in the grappling hand, but overall, I'd say it's pretty good. Good. And I totally would recommend it if you are a diehard TMNT fan. Just be, just be careful with the fragile, fragile sword. Sword. And there are some parts of the figure that's going to be a little bit tricky to get, like like uh, grabbing, the, like getting the sword onto the uh, grappling hand. But other than that, I'd say A, it's pretty good, and I give this one a solid B. And for my next review, it's going to obviously be... The Batman figure. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.